Hi and welcome to our veterinary medicine videos on YouTube. Talking to you, Dr. Mustafa Ismail, and we are going to talk about theriogenology. To talk about theriogenology, we must know the definition. The definition of theriogenology is the branch of veterinary medicine concerned with uh, reproduction. When we are going to talk about the reproduction, so we must say the physiology and pathology of female and uh, and male reproductive systems. Knowing more about the physiology and pathology of male and female reproductive system can help us understanding the estrus cycle and help us to make a good artificial insemination. By talking about artificial insemination, now you can see in forms uh, they are having uh, vets that are doing artificial insemination. If we are going to think about nature, what happened during nature? So in nature, it is the general rule that animals breed once annually and parturation occurs in the spring. So we are going to ask ourselves why the parturation occurs in the spring because of two reasons. The first is that the time is most favorable to the progeny in that they grow up during the period of increasing light and warmth. So when the calf or the any progeny being born in, in spring, the light and warm can can help this calf or this progeny to grow well and also for the second reason is that the time when food is for mother is adequate to ensure lactation so when we are going to talk about today under the conditions of feeding and housing provided if we are bringing the cattle and providing them with a good feeding programs and a good housing and caring management the breeding seasons tend to be lengthened so uh, the species and particularly the cattle may breed at any time during the year, okay? But in nature, the nature rules the cattle that the spring is the most favorable time for the progeny and for the mother to eat. So the nature controls 